This class of ships is widely considered the second hardest tech tree line of destroyers to play, right behind the pan-European ones, as neither class have access to smoke screens, meaning you have no get out of jail free card if things go sideways. You cannot sit and farm from the safety of smoke either. The French line though has received a considerable buff all the way up and down the line of the Club Air as well. Read about it by following the link in the description below. Luff and Task, for instance, has received a second main battery reload booster and its duration has been increased by 5 seconds. And a few other minor changes. Really though, this is the best time to grind this line if you haven't already or go revisit the ships as they're quite a lot of fun now. In a nutshell, French destroyers are large and very, very fast. They carry powerful torpedoes with shorter ranges and large caliber guns that do quite well at medium to longer ranges. They have decent concealment, but usually pretty bad AA performance. Overall, they're geared more towards the guns, I would say, than the torpedoes, but ships like La Fantasque, you can choose either thanks to the 8km stock torp range. Clabert, not so much, with a 6km stock range. There are two builds I've primarily been using for La Fantasque. The guns. Buff. Accuracy, rudder, concealment, and reload speed. Violet is the one to use here with quick fix, go all out, perceptive, sidestep, and rather be tortured. This build is simultaneously good for long range farming and enemy DD hunting. If you want to run torpedoes though, put on the torpedo module and Felipe. Here, you're going to want to use subsurface venture, destroy or be destroyed and unstoppable. This build will be half as good at setting fires and long range gunning, but a much scarier torpedo threat. You'll notice we used Go All Out on both builds because the skill is absolutely broken. Your detectability drops 20% when your engine boost consumable is running, and this is very, very good for so many reasons. So absolutely take the skill. And the inspirations, I've left them the same on either build because I'm lazy, moored off for guns and bay for concealment, but there are plenty of inspirations you could use here. Billy Sims to buff the HP pool, Fishy for the torp speed, Azalea Tago to bring the 1800 meter detection range down on the torpedoes. Lots of different things you could experiment with. I am really leaning towards the torpedo build right now, and here's why. Having two very powerful main battery reload boosters means you're a massive threat to any enemy destroyer you come in contact with. Not once a game, but twice now. Even far superior gunboats on paper, such as Alan M. Sumner, need to watch the bass in their voice when Le Fantasque is around. Yeah, you lose some ability to farm from long range and set lots of fires, but you trade that off for playing a little closer in and being a torpedo threat. The torp build can have you slinging torpedoes about every minute. And while the damage got nerfed a little bit, they still hit hard for just under 17,000 damage. They're both great builds, I think, and I switch back and forth between them often on the Fantasque. So you should experiment with what you enjoy more, what you do better with, and what helps you win more games. How do you play these French boats? Well, that's the question. The number one thing to remember is since you do not have smoke screens, if you screw up, you're going to be punished for it heavily. So early cap pushes and super aggressive plays at the beginning of matches are generally a bad idea, especially if there's an enemy CV in the game. Instead, see how the match is unfolding, what enemy ships are going where, and then you can swoop into the cap to club an unsuspecting enemy DD, or just continue to throw torps down if it's not safe to take the cap. In a 1v1, you should be able to knock the fight out of all but the best destroyers and the best enemy DD captains. But to improve your odds of surviving, make sure you always have a good escape plan. Because again, no smokescreen. Speed is your best friend in French destroyers. Keep the throttle wide open. This will make it very hard for enemies to hit you with guns or torpedoes. I seem to have a bad habit of wanting to slam on the brakes and turn to avoid shots. But really with the French DDs, try to get out of the habit of this and just keep going as fast as you can and use the rudder to dodge. I will say, Legends makes it harder to play with this playstyle on French DDs because of how powerful the auto-aim is in our game. Even the greenest of players can simply hit LT, RT, and have a decent chance of hitting you. So keep your head on a swivel and use the rudder often. I would say with French destroyers, definitely don't be afraid to shoot your guns, especially if you have Violet, because you will go unspotted more quickly. Shell velocity and the firing arcs are really great from longer ranges, and you can deal good amounts of gun damage and set lots of fires. HE shells are not the only shell type that's useful for French DDs. French destroyers have absolutely absurd armor piercing rounds, and enemy cruisers will prove this point over and over again. So load AP 
watch for broadsides, and even throw a reload booster down. Now that you have two, it's a good opportunity to clear a cruiser off the board or deal a ton of damage in a short period of time. At long ranges, cruisers are still not safe, so use the AP shells often. These French DDs are amazing ambush destroyers with their really, really fast speed. This ambush tactic fits nicely into the French destroyer MO and with the torpedoes as well. No other DDs in the game can pull off YOLO rushes better, except Palo Amelia, of course. These plays, while really fun, should probably only be saved for certain times, so go over this checklist in your head. 1. The game is about to be lost or won, so who cares? 2. It's a 1v1 against a battleship and they have no prayer of killing you before you pump them full of torpedoes. Or 3. You need a drastic play to turn the tide of battle. Whatever your reasoning, here are five simple rules to follow for improving your rushing success. Try to catch enemies bow in sailing towards you. Trying to rush ships that are sailing away from you is a very bad idea for so many reasons. They're going to have more time to dodge your torpedoes, shoot you with their main guns and their secondary batteries. And the faster the enemy BB, the more time they're going to have to deal with you. If bow in though, they will likely only have one shot to kill you. When that shot is spent, they lose. Number two, make sure your torpedoes are reloaded before you rush. If your torpedo launchers get knocked during a rush while they're reloading, even if you damage con immediately, the torp reload is going to reset. If the torps are loaded and they get knocked, a damage con will make them ready to fire immediately. Number three, make sure it's a 1v1. Your likelihood of a successful attack drops drastically if there are other ships in the vicinity. Four. Watch which way enemy guns are pointing and place your ship in the hardest path or position for them to fire all of their guns at you. So if this enemy BB has all of his guns pointing to starboard, I should try to position myself toward the port side of his ship. And number five, use islands to mask your approach. Seems obvious, right? The less time an enemy sees you, the less time they have to react. Overall, I think the French DDs are in a super great place right now. Very, very fun and most players, even newer players, could find them enjoyable. Hopefully some of these tips will help when playing them, and if you think they will, please hit the like button as that would greatly help this video out. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys will be grinding this line for the first time or going back and revisiting them. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.